My name's Roger Morris. I sail on the Spinnaker Club team racing team. My involvement with the club began when I was at university at Southampton. Uh, the university has sailed at the club here for about 10 years, a little bit longer, and the club has actually been instrumental in helping the university reach the position of being one of the top universities in Britain. There's a two-way relationship really in that uh, they help the university and also the university helps provide extra new members for the club. The club has always been very helpful and accommodating. It uh, has the university boats here, provides good facilities, uh, there's a good working relationship. They join in club racing and so on. A lot of the ex-university people join the club. Um, we also race with them. I mean, we, the club team races against the university. It's good practice for both teams. And uh, we all have a good laugh together. The club team uh, has been the most successful team in team racing uh, anywhere in Britain for about the last two to three years and last summer the inaugural uh, Team Racing World Championship was held and we represented Britain at that and won the World Championship. The very nature of team racing is a fairly uh, active, uh, intensive uh, racing with lots of uh, with lots of manoeuvring, and therefore you get lots of exercise, lots of flexibility, lots of moving about, and you don't get cold, which is which is the basis of it. It tends to involve lots of social interaction. Uh, there's usually a fair bit of uh, active participation and, and let's, sometimes, let's face it, there is a fair bit of shouting between different teams, but everybody gets active and gets fired up and uh, at the end of the day, you always have a few things to say to somebody else about the race that you had with them. We always try to encourage more people to join. Uh, at times, especially the younger ones, would sometimes feel a little bit intimidated because their level of experience uh, means that they're not as good as the top teams and they might feel a little bit inadequate at times. But what we try to do is we try to encourage them through getting them to crew first of all uh, and several of the younger members of the club crew with some of the more established people and they get into it that way and, I mean, several members of the current team have started off that way, crewing for other members of the club, get a little bit of practice that way, do the odd event. They find out what a good laugh it is as well. It's a lot of fun. They go away to different events. Uh, even if they're not necessarily competitive straight away, they get into the scene and they enjoy it. And then they uh, sort of progress through that. When the younger club members get involved in team racing and they learn a little bit about it, they can move forward uh, by increasing their knowledge of team racing. It makes them uh, obviously more proficient. They've got uh, a little bit of an advantage when they go to university. 
if, the, if they do go to university, but certainly they have the background in team racing to give them that, that little edge against other people. The easiest way to join the club is to come up here on a Sunday. Uh, Any time between about 11.30 and 3.30 on a Sunday, you'll find various uh, committee members and flag officers here. who will we'll talk to who comes up about, about the club, what the very simple rules are about the club, show them the different types of boats that we sail here, and then it's up to you to make up your mind whether you want to join. We're not going to lean on anybody who comes up just for a general chat about sailing. If somebody comes up here and their ambition is to sail around the world, you might suggest, well, perhaps you shouldn't join us. If they want to come up to a club which is a good social club, lots of fun, lots of opportunity to, go, to do very good dinghy sailing, I think this is a good place to join. We very, very rarely get blown off by heavy wind. We have never been um, affected by things like tide and such like. Um, it's a safe lake to sail in. There are uh, edges all the way around the lake so people can't go sailing off and get into trouble. So it's a good fun place and a safe place to sail. Here we're on about fun, and that's what it's really all about. If you don't enjoy it, don't do it.